Okay, today we're going to talk about where an electron appears on an electron shell and why. So, okay, I've already shown in previous videos that um, energy moves in toroidal fashion in a figure of eight. I'm now going to show you where the electron should be based on the Fibonacci sequence. So this is how energy actually spins. And the electron would be one more circle inside either of these two loops as it moves in a figure eight rotation. Now this also happens to the electron because energy is fractal, so this shape looks exactly the same all the way down and all the way out, doesn't matter which circle you look in. So if you imagine the electron on the outside of those two loops spinning inside the electron shell and outside the electron shell, as is shown here, the straight line would be the electron shell, the uh, loop would be going outside and inside, causing a wave motion and rotation. So the loop of the electron goes outside the electron shell and here is where it goes. So I believe that the electron, as it's rotating around, spins outside the electron shell at 137.5 degrees every single time. So if you want to find where the electron is, you would use the Fibonacci sequence as that is what builds plants. When the electron spins outside the electron shell, it creates a node of matter which then forms a branch or a leaf um, or anything to do with the Fibonacci sequence, sunflower seeds, all those kind of things. So I say that the electron loop spins outside the electron shell at 137.5 degrees always, which also encompasses the golden ratio. And so by the following examples, you can see that plants grow in a sequence. It's the Fibonacci sequence. And the only way for new growth to appear would be for an electron to cause direction. And it's taking its directions from the DNA of whatever seed is having energy put through it. And so the Fibonacci sequence is the spin of the electron. And uh, each DNA points the direction direction of the electron to where it should escape its electron shell to cause growth. My name is Lee and I'm an engineer.